guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Tiana and I am currently documenting my fertility journey here on YouTube. If that's something you're interested in, please make sure to hit the subscribe button, maybe even hit that notification bell so you do not miss an upload. Today's video is actually going to be about my cycles post myomectomy. However, before we get started into that, I do want to shamelessly plug myself. I'm adding a couple little links uh, into the description box because I do have some big goals for 2021. This year, guys, I'm really hoping to hit at least a thousand subscribers here on YouTube, as well as becoming like an Amazon affiliate slash associate, whatever they want to call it. Um, so I am posting a few links. If you want to click through, check them out. If you pick something up, let me know. One thing that I do have on there that I absolutely love is this shirt. Guys, this flannel is a whole vibe, okay? Like I'm feeling... Every time I wear it, I'm feeling like Queen Latifah. I'm feeling li living single. I've got my hoops, which I also got on Amazon. So they're definitely some of my absolute favorites. Um, I think I have links already for, you know, my hat collection behind me, my duvet cover, uh, my favorite little water cup, like things like that, that I will be adding just so you guys can check out just in case you're in the market for some, you know, some of, the, some of these things. Um, it would really help me out a lot if you were to buy some things. So. Just wanted to get that out of the way, but without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so as we get started, in case somehow the men missed the beginning and didn't hear that I said I was talking about my menstrual cycles before, y'all, that's what this video is about. So if there are men in here and you don't want to hear about it, which I'm sure you don't, click right on up. Like, honey do not watch this video okay so we are about to get into a little bit of tmi and it's for the ladies only before we start talking about my cycles post myomectomy i just want to let you guys know kind of what they were like before so we can establish what my normal was so you can see kind of the difference before and after um before my myomectomy and i'm talking like before my fibroids went crazy and you guys all experienced that with me um, I would have uh, extremely bad cramps the first two days. So, you know, I always knew coming up to my cycle, I'd feel a little weird. Um, I would be very tired. I would start to spot like two days before my cycle would start. Um, and then once my cycle would start, my cramps were like out of this world. Like I don't, it just, they just got worse and worse and worse. So they would be terrible for two days. I would have to sleep with a heating pack. I would, you know, walk slowly, hunched over. The only medication that would help me um, was the Tylenol Extra Strength, which is like 500 milligrams per tablet. I would take two. So I'd be on like a thousand milligrams of Tylenol for two to three days. And then I would stop taking it just because my cramps were so bad pre myomectomy. Um, as far as my flow, um, I was never really a super like heavy, I don't really have a heavy flow. Um, so before I would, I mean, I've always just worn tampons. I didn't really know that tampons could affect like your cramps or anything like that. It never dawned on me or clicked. So I've always just worn tampons um, and I've been able to do that just fine. I've never had like any kind of crazy flow issues, which um, I'm definitely thankful for because I know a lot of women that have um, fibroids and that's like one of their biggest symptoms is they have super heavy flows and they're on their period for long extended periods of time. Um, my cycle has usually always been five to six days and it's still like that today. So that's my normal. That was my normal. Um, and then going into IVF, um, I was taking Lupron shots and I started taking all these hormone um, hormone shots and my stomach, uterus, everything just went bananas. Um, and that was probably the worst cycle I've ever had. So since then though, I've done a lot of research. I think what happened, which we don't really know exactly what happened, but I think the Lupron shots were causing my fibroid to start to shrink. And that's why um, I was having like a degenerating fibroid. I was having the worst cramps ever that cycle. I was clotting a lot. Um, it felt like a longer, like a longer, heavier cycle. It was just absolutely trash, okay? And that was in July. 
Um, so August, I spent most of August just trying to figure out what was wrong in and out of the doctor's offices, stuff like that, um, which brought me up to my surgery in September. So I had my myomectomy September 16th of 2020. Um, smooth, super smooth process. I have a video I can go ahead and I'm not going to link it above because I'm not fancy. If I can figure it out, I'm going to link it above. If not, it will be down in the description box. So you can see um, surgery day, kind of how I was feeling before and after. It was pretty smooth. No complications. Everything went great. My surgery was September 16th. I ended up starting my cycle. So after surgery, you're, you bleed for a couple days, um, which was true for me. And then I started my period about eight days later. So I was like right back to back. I was very, very nervous about starting my cycle so soon because I thought, you know, I just been cut open, everything sensitive. This is going to be terrible. Like I was very nervous, but it was not that bad. So I was already, and I can't, I can't say it's not, it wasn't that bad because I just, you know, the fibroids are gone and therefore it's like magically better because I was only a week out. I was still on the medication from my surgery. So after surgery, I only took the 800 milligram, ty uh, not Tylenol, but was it Tylenol? ibuprofen the 800 milligram ibuprofen that they gave me that's the only thing i took i didn't take the oxycodone or whatever else like i just took the ibuprofen and that seemed to work fine um, but at the moment that i started my period like a week later a little over a week later i was still taking those pills every six hours so yes that cycle was very easy for me as far as bleeding goes um, i was not wearing tampons that early I think they told me to at least wait a cycle. So I didn't wear tampons at all in September or October, um, but my September cycle was pretty chill and I can't necessarily say it's because my fiber was gone, but I will say it's probably because my ibuprofen um, was still like in my system. So we're gonna scratch September and not even, we're, we don't know about September, okay? So come October, November, December, we're gonna move on to those cycles. You guys, my cycles have been a freaking godsend. Like I can't, I can't explain how great, like it's not like I look forward to my cycles, but I'm just not dreading it because I just, I feel so much better. So since September, or well, since I will say um, after October, because after October, I was able to like start wearing tampons again and everything was just normal feeling. Everything's just normal, right? Um, so now sometimes I have experienced spotting before, sometimes I haven't. So I don't know if that's going to be kind of a back and forth thing for me. Um, but this last cycle I did. So sometimes I'll still spot for a couple days before and then I will start my period. So I am still having those early onset kind of cramps, but they are nothing at all like they were before I had my surgery. Like I just feel a little discomfort. I might go ahead and use my, um, my heating pack at night, but it's not like I need to go take that Tylenol for three days. So they have been absolutely amazing. I know that I've had a few longer cycles uh since my surgery in august so before my surgery that cycle what i tell you guys was like 40 something days and then my next cycle went back to like 28 and then i had a 38 day cycle and then my last one was another 28 day cycle so i'm not really sure where i'm gonna even out with that um, because i am trying to conceive i am tracking my cycle so i'll be able to update you guys again later on kind of where i even out uh, my last cycle was 28, 29 days. So I'm hoping that this cycle too will be short um, because I know that's better when you're trying to conceive um, to not have super long cycles. It can like mess with things and eggs and it messes with things. So hopefully my cycles will kind of normalize and get shorter. I'm just so blown away about the difference of like my PMS symptoms. So before I, I would get every symptom under the sun. So like every month I would think, am I pregnant? Like, oh my God, my boobs. Oh my God, I have headaches. I'm hungry. I'm this, I'm that. But now it's like none of that. Like I would literally have every symptom. I would be so tired. My boobs would hurt. I would get in the shower and just the water on them would like, kill me my back would hurt i'd have cramps i'd be like 
super thirsty and just like all these different things that people would associate with early pregnancy symptoms that was that was my those were my period symptoms every single freaking month um and now i truly like other than those spotting the two days and probably being like an irritable little twat like those are my only symptoms that i still have now so there is hope ladies like if you're out there and you're struggling and getting ready for this surgery there is a light at the end of the tunnel like i feel so much better there's so much relief on the other side of the surgery i know depending on how many fibroids you have like it might take you longer to recover um but hopefully i mean i don't know if this is true but i pray i pray that we all have these glorious cycles like it's not just me that you too will experience this relief because i hated having my periods every month before and now i don't even really think about them they come they go and it's not a big deal. So I just wanted to make this video because I do get so many questions in the comments of my other videos, just like, hey, you know, I'm about to have my surgery. Like, is it gonna get better? Like, is it gonna get worse? All these things. So I just wanted to get that out there, let you guys know it does get better and we're gonna get through this. So hopefully everything goes well i know there's a bunch of you guys that are having surgery soon or have just had surgery so please leave a comment let me know how you're doing i'll check in on you and yeah that's it i just wanted to give you guys that quick update next we'll probably talk about like i don't know sex after my amectomy let me know if that's something you guys want to discuss just go ahead and like this video and i will talk to you guys later Bye.